Galaxy S24 versus Galaxy A55 speed test beginning with a boot up in three, two, go and see which one can get there first. Now the Samsung Galaxy S24 is obviously the flagship phone with AI features, but the A55 is trying to pose as near a flagship kind of feel. And people have been saying that phone could pass as a flagship, honestly, the new A55. Well, let's see if it can pass as a flagship in performance. And you see the Samsung Galaxy S24 boots up way faster than that of the A55. So, so far, it's not looking like its body and feel is going to match that um, performance so far of a Galaxy S24. Now, in terms of biometrics, usually these are pretty similar on most phones, but not on these. You could see the fingerprint right there, just not as good on the A55. It's not even in a better location, and a lot of times I'd be missing on the Galaxy A55, mostly because the Galaxy A55 has a fingerprint that just doesn't seem to operate as nice and snappy as the Galaxy S24, as you've seen right there. Also, the punch hole is quite a bit larger, um, but just kind of unlocking with the face. It's decently quick on the A54, but not as quick as the Galaxy S24. Not a major deal difference there though. One area where they are kind of like the same in the speed though is kind of just scrolling through. Running through the UI is pretty much the same on both of them because they both have 120 hertz adaptive refreshes. And this area has gotten much better with the A55 just kind of running through the software. They finally got it feeling like near a flagship just generally navigating the UI. Whereas the Galaxy S24 is better than ever and now has the Advanced Intelligence AI onboard Galaxy AI. So let's get into the app test. All right guys, so here we are at the app test. Everything closed out for both eight gigs of RAM on the right, eight gigs of RAM on the left, one UI 6.1 on both, but that's a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy. That's an Exynos 1480. Let's go ahead and begin with calendar. And you can see about the same. Also notice the animations should be quite the same as well as one UI 6.1 clean things up a bit. Let's go into clock, faster on the left with world clock. In day-to-day -day applications, looks like the A55 can run along just fine. Scrolling through and down to the quick panel, you'll see also pretty smooth on both. So quite nice. Let's go into Play Store. You'll see pretty similar. Let's go into apps. Maybe the A55 there, top charts. About the same, let's go into categories. How about um, watch faces? Some sub menus, a little faster on the Galaxy. So the Galaxy S24 will probably really show its power with the AI a little faster on the left, maybe a little bit snappier animations, um, a little bit more consistency. But the A55 is a nicer performer than the A54 I've been noticing and you can kind of see it here so far performing near the flagship level. That actually looked quicker on the right. Again, there's a slight margin of error with my fingers, but overall it's not gonna be major. You'll see right there on the left, that was first. And let's go ahead and head up out of there. We'll go into Best Buy. You'll see that's launching first there. But this is not a huge difference, like, so far. So. What I'm noticing is that Samsung is doing a good job this year with um, making the One UI 6.1 kind of feel smooth even on cheaper phones. So they're going in the right direction. However, they're kind of getting a little bit, like they don't really change it up too much. They're kind of more focused on refinement now, which is not a bad thing. But at the same time, the older Samsung days used to feel a little bit more like they were changing things up every year. Not that I need that, I'm just saying. Just something to note that the One UI has kind of been feeling a little bit stale to me, kind of the same look every year for the past few years. But it still has a lot of customization, so you can't, you don't really get that bored of it. And here we go with the Temple Run 2. And games do pop open faster. This is where the S24 line will leapfrog the Galaxy A55. Like, be way better. And that's in games. Now, once casual games do get loaded up, though, 
Um, I would probably prefer the bigger screen of the Galaxy A55, I'm being totally honest. Let's go to Subway Surfers. However, the performance is gonna be not only faster, it's gonna stay smoother, and it's gonna be able to do this um, a little bit better, especially when you start getting into like more graphically intensive games. The A55 will start to show that it's not a powerhouse performer. Even waiting to launch the game is gonna take longer, especially as you download things um, like Genshin Impact. Hold on, let's get this guy going. So let's go into Dead Trigger 2. As you download Call of Duty Warzone, things that really uh, take a little bit more power, S24 will load it faster and have better frame rates. You might actually lose in a battle in one of those games simply because if you're using an A55 and someone has a fast internet connection with faster frame rates on their S20 line, S24 line, they are definitely probably going to get the W, if you know what I mean, in Call of Duty. So you'll see right there on the left. So Free Fire goes to the S24. And as expected, now that we're getting into the gaming portion of this video, the Galaxy S24 seeming to pull ahead as you would expect. And I thought the A55 was gonna be a little bit closer. This is my first time testing. I didn't even do a preliminary test on this one. The A55 is showing what I thought. It's behind for sure here in PUBG. So. And this is the most graphically intensive game here. Pretty a pretty good margin behind there. As we get into the match though, these phones can both play this game okay, but the S24 is gonna play it smoother. Let's go into Geekbench 6. However, I gotta ask you a question. How much mobile gaming do you do? That's to the left, or do you reserve that for the console or maybe another Nintendo device or something like that? Do you game do you game on your Galaxy phone like regularly or you just play some more casual stuff? Let me know down below in the comments. And you see, but overall, what I really liked about the A55 is that it does have really improved animations and more consistency over the A54. It wasn't really choppy in no area. It just was a little bit slower to load heavier games. Other than that, this Samsung phone is ready for your day-to-day -day life for sure. I do wonder how well it will perform in a couple of years, two, three years from now though, versus something like an S24. I do think the S24 will have much better longevity with consistency. All right, so let's go ahead and do a reload here. Now I do expect the S24 to be better. I do have the good lock enhancements on both to kind of get rid of these double swipes. Actually, was that one off? Looks like it looks like it got disabled on this device. Oh well. Still, you can you can disable those. You can see nothing reloading so far on this device. Very clean, very simple. I'm very happy with the S24. This phone is reminding me a lot of S23. Just a really great performer, small, has all the things you need on it. Really comfortable day to day. I love this S24 device. Now, the A54 is definitely a gargantuan feel compared to the smaller S24, but I do like that increase in size because, oh, we've seen a little choppiness there. I do like that increase in size because um, it's a 0.2 inch bigger phone over the Galaxy A54, but I also like how it gets closer to that of an S24 Plus. Some people say, what's the point of an S24 Plus when you could save money, get nearly the same look? Well, here's the deal. The S24 Plus has a much more powerful chip, better cameras by a mile, than the A55. It also has thinner bezels. These bezels are one of my cons so far. Looks like we had a reload on Best Buy of the A55. These bezels are a con to me. Um, while they are symmetrical, I think they're really thick. For 2024 standards, they look like a phone from 2000 and like 20. So definitely not a big fan of the bezels, but you gotta make compromises somewhere to get a phone like this, you know, for $400. So I can't be too mad. Adam, but I think in the future, we'll probably have even reduced bezels on the A-line. Okay, so here are the scores of the Geekbench. Now, I did this one yesterday, but it doesn't change in one. And the final Geekbench scores are in, and you can see on the CPU, double, almost double the score on the Galaxy S24, and on the multi-core score, double that. So yeah, from the benchmark perspective, the S24 blows the door off the A55. 
Let's go over here to Wildlife Extreme. We'll run this, and this is an area I think it's going to just annihilate the Galaxy A55. So I'll be back when they're done. Whoa, look at these scores on Wildlife Extreme. 899 with an average frame rate of 6 FPS. 27 FPS with a 4666. This is ridiculous. Scoring better than 91% of devices. 14% of devices. Now keep in mind the S24 is only a couple hundred dollars more. It's not like twice as much. Yes, you get the smaller screen, but you will absolutely destroy the Galaxy A55 in the area of gaming. As we talked about earlier in the app test, that was the key separator. And in the actual performance, it's gonna be no contest. Let's go ahead and hit the camera. You can see the S24 launched that first. Sometimes though, when you first launch them, a little slower nope that's the s24 again let's go ahead and do it one more time for good measure and yep that is the left let's go ahead take some photos shutter speed pretty similar s24 giving you 30 times zoom versus 10 times zoom so there's a lot of areas where the s24 is the better phone um, but if you want the larger size at a cheaper price than a smaller S24, there is something to be said for the Galaxy A55, but you will sacrifice performance for that larger size to get that cheaper price. So personally, I would still pick the S24, but if you really want the big screen, you're going to have to go up to the S24 plus. Let me know if you want to see the S24 plus versus the A55 or any other smartphones I haven't compared yet to the A55. Drop it down below in the comments. I'll catch you on the next one. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.